can you do me a favor? Can you keep an eye on this? Because we're going to start in New York City, and we're going to head over to the state of Connecticut. And there's only 80 golf courses to choose from in Connecticut. 180 golf courses to choose from. It's a lot of golf, not 80. 180 golf courses. And we'll be looking at the top 10 public golf courses. But before we do, make sure you take a look at our channel because we have all the countries of the top golf courses in that country. And we're going to be hitting every public golf course in New Jersey. So let's zoom in to our number 10 golf course on this list, our number 10 public golf course. All of these are able to play to the public. Off real good with the Donald Ross course that opened in 1898. There's gonna be a lot of history on this top 10 list. The course is a par 71 that stretches 6,562 yards with a slope of 124 and a ranking of 71.7. So we have a lot more golf to look at in this small little state that packs a punch. And you know the rules. So let's zoom in to our number nine golf course on the other side of the state. And this one is a championship golf course here. Be a little bit higher on this list, but we pushed it back. It's been listed not only as a top 10 pop top, uh, course arguably should be a little bit higher on this list. It's been ranked as not only a top 10 public golf course in Connecticut, but also a top 25 public golf course across the country. But this is coming from the website, and that's why we bring you the top 10. So the par 72 here that stretches 6,744 yards with the slope of 139 and a ranking of 73.6. It was built in 1970 by Edward Ryder. All right, so let's zoom in to our number eight on this list. And number eight on this list could be a gamble. It's not too far from the major casino in Connecticut. The course was built in 1958, and it was built by golf architect Wendell Ross. It's a par 70 that only stretches 5,903 yards, has a slope of 118 and an overall ranking of 78.7. To number seven on our list, Connecticut National Golf Club. It's a par 71 that stretches 6,935 yards. It's a slope of 133 and has an overall ranking of 72.8. Course was built in 1994 and had major updates in 2007. Of course, it's open to all. And as we get closer to the top five, know that this list will change throughout the years. We're gonna continually go back and look at some of the comments and see what we can update on the top public golf course because it's very important that we pick golf courses everyone can play, just like this incredible course that's number six on our list. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,100 and 86 yards and has a slope of 135 a ranking tough ranking of 75.4 course was built in 2007 has bent grass fairways and also bent grass greens has won numerous awards and just an overall incredible golf course but it didn't break our top five so let's zoom out because there's a lot more good golf in this state Everybody knows the rules, and we still have five more golf courses to look at. We're going to be hitting all these golf courses, so make sure you subscribe. And we're going to give you a hands-on view of these golf courses as we play them. And this one might be the first one we play when we get to Connecticut. The course is a long 7,191 yards. It has a tough slope of 140 and a ranking of 74.5. The course was built in 2004. It is open year round. It's an Arnold Palmer design golf course, so you know it's good. So let's get into now the top four. Now this one, right on the border, another great golf course here. And there's two courses. We picked the north course here, R72, that stretches 7,279 yards from the back tees with a slope of 147 and a ranking of 76.4 course was built in 2005 
has bent grass, bent fairways, and was designed by Rees Jones. Interesting. This is a great golf course to get out and play if you get the chance to play here. When it comes down to two golf courses in one resort, we don't like to have both of them on this list. So either of these courses will take the number four spot. But number three is a different story because we're going to be headed back to Bloomfield. And we'll be looking at a great Lynx style golf course here. It's a par 70 that stretches 6,711 yards has a slope of 141 and a ranking of 78.5. The course was built in 2005, is open year round, and is a peat dye design course. It's bent grass and bent fairways all over the place. This is a championship golf course if we've seen one so far. If you made it this far, I recommend subscribing. We're hitting all the states. We're looking at all the public golf courses in the states, and this is just good information to have the back of your pocket when you're playing golf. But it's up to you. So let's zoom out because we got two golf courses left to look at, and you probably know those two, but we're going to zoom in quickly to our number two golf course, Great River Golf Club. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,006 yards has a slope of 148 and a ranking of 74.6. The course has fairways that are bent grass and also bent grass putting green surfaces. It's a Tommy Falzo course that was built in 2001. The wait is over and opening day is here. We're getting closer to the number one golf course left to be played in Connecticut. And we had to put a lot into consideration like history and rankings online and arguably it's probably not the most beautiful golf course on this list it did make our number one public golf course on this list it's a part 70 that stretches 6,449 yards it's a slope of 127 and has a ranking of 70.6 a little bit of history course was built in 1927 multiple updates in 2016 by many famous golf designers and it's a very reasonable golf course to pick that's going to do it for our list we're going to be hitting all the different golf courses so say one thing and keep a lookout for more videos to come